The first rocket, liquid-fueled, 1926 CE, Robert Goddard, USA. The invention of the first liquid-fueled rocket in 1926 by American physicist and engineer Robert H. Goddard marked a defining moment in the history of space exploration and modern rocketry. Often referred to as the father of modern rocketry, Goddard's pioneering work laid the essential groundwork for the development of satellites, space travel, and even interplanetary exploration. Before Goddard's innovation, rockets had primarily been powered by solid fuels, a technology that had existed for centuries, dating back to ancient China. While solid-fueled rockets were useful for fireworks and simple propulsion, they lacked the power, control, and efficiency needed for serious scientific and exploratory applications. Goddard envisioned a more advanced solution, a rocket that could be fueled by liquid propellants, enabling greater thrust and control. On March 16, 1926, Goddard launched the world's first successful liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn, Massachusetts. The rocket stood 10 feet tall and was powered by liquid oxygen and gasoline. Though modest by today's standards, the rocket soared to an altitude of 41 feet, flew for 2.5 seconds, and landed 184 feet away from its launch site. Despite its brief flight, it was a groundbreaking success, proving that liquid-fueled propulsion was not only possible but practical. The rocket was constructed from simple materials, thin metal tubes, and basic plumbing parts, but its principles were revolutionary. Goddard's engine used a combustion chamber and a nozzle, much like modern rockets, to efficiently direct the explosion of fuel into forward thrust. He also designed systems to pump and mix fuel efficiently, which were key to maintaining controlled propulsion. Initially, Goddard's ideas were met with skepticism and even ridicule. A now infamous 1920 New York Times editorial mocked his belief that rockets could work in the vacuum of space, an article they formally retracted decades later after the success of the Apollo missions. Despite the criticism, Goddard remained undeterred. Quietly advancing his research with support from the Smithsonian Institution and private funders like Charles Lindbergh, Today, the impact of Robert Goddard's work is immense. Every space mission, satellite launch, and interplanetary probe can trace its technological lineage back to that simple rocket in a Massachusetts field. Goddard's legacy lives on in the continued pursuit of knowledge and exploration beyond our world.